Hey viewers, welcome to another game of Schedule Pro Gamer. This is game number two of White Ra on the, as the uh, Protoss in the bottom right in this case, versus the STC as, um, well, the Terran in the top left. So, pretty easy. Um, yeah, the first game obviously won by someone. I'm not going to spoil who, but this is indeed the best of three. So we still have two more games to go. And yeah, this time I actually looked it up that uh, there are indeed uh, three games. Well, no, that it is indeed a best of three, I should say. And yeah, because a best of five can also have three games. So <laughs> anyhow, um, it is indeed a best of three. And we are going to uh, see the standard opening for both of them. Wall off over here. With uh, two supply depots and then a barracks. And here we're going to see the close to the base pylon with the uh, gateway uh, into cybernetics core and blah, 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 blah. That's kind of the standard build. You know that by now. And if you don't, then yeah, now you do. <laughs> Anyhow, um, yeah, we are just mining it up and on both sides, of course. And we are going for a refinery here. That's an early refinery. Normally we see the refineries way later, but I guess he wants to immediately build into uh, a factory. Not going for the barracks as a wall off here. I guess he just built that supply depot because he wasn't sure yet what he wanted to do. Now he decides, well, I'm not going to go into anything else. I'm just going to go uh, uh, barracks right in my base and not really care about any scouts coming in. There are no scouts coming in, so it doesn't really matter. We have the gateway, we have a new pylon. And the pylon, of course, is spread out. Uh, normally you spread out the pylons to make sure that you scout everywhere in your base because it's really crappy if someone drops over here and takes out your base from the inside. Because if you defend here, which normally is done and someone drops over here, you're completely out of position and you're going to lose quite a bit before anything else happens. So the cybernetic score is indeed coming up and we are indeed mining. So um, I'm kind of looking for the factory, but it is not coming up yet. So we are going to produce some Marines then, but well, I don't really know why he had to have this early gas. Oh, he's going for Reapers. That explains that because Reapers actually do cost gas. They cost uh, 50 gas each. And since he has that reactor going, he needs a hundred gas at the moment this reactor is completed. And we, yeah, we don't see, or we haven't seen Reapers in quite a while. And now all of a sudden they're good again, apparently. And that is, um, yeah, that's good. That's good. I like, uh, I like it when there are multiple unit choices to be made. And yeah, I don't really like it when you have the same build over and over and over again. And that is indeed not the case here. So we are going to go towards the enemy base, obviously, but taking up both of the watchtowers just to, s to see what's going on. He doesn't see anything going on, so he is just going to have his two, uh, his two Reapers inside of the base, and we're going to see if this results in anything. They are, however, straight away getting attacked by a Stalker, which is probably the worst unit to go up against, because Stalkers actually have pretty decent range, they have pretty decent damage, and yeah, the Reapers are both going to run out. Don't want to fight that Stalker. And they're going to just fall back. So anyhow, uh, it seems that um, we are going towards this Nexus now. He does scout it at least. But yeah, too many troops out. Can't really do anything. So the, the Reapers are going back home. Ah, that's such a shame. Because Reapers are really one of those units that can do a lot of harassment. But yeah, our blue player here was ready for it. Well, he is White Ra. He has been playing for like forever. And he does know how to hold off these kind of uh, simple things. We are... Yeah, he wanted to come in to snipe some dro uh, yeah, some probes. But he couldn't get it done because there were no probes yet. And by the time that there were probes, there were actually some defensive units as well. So the Reapers still sitting there. And they are still going to go... Well, to the front lines, try to pick up some things. And he's going to split them up. And are we going to get anything done with them this time? The Mothership Corps does scout this guy. 
And we are not going to do anything. He's going to scout around, seize the fort, seize the Twilight Council. And going to make it out. Excellent. We're going to stay alive. This other guy uh, also alive, but uh, both of them at zero kills. So, yeah, not really good harassment, but at least a good scouting tool. So we are going to build an armory, which means that we're going to get some um, missile turrets up. Because Twilight Council might actually mean Dark Templar. Uh, it also might mean just upgrades. I mean, it, it doesn't really have to mean anything. It's just that, well, if you go for uh, for the Blink Stalkers, of course, you need the early Twilight Council as well. And we are going for a third gateway. He did scout that, I believe. So he's not going to be uh, really too impressed by that. It's a fourth gateway. I Oh, the... There's one over here. So we do have four gateways now and he should be able to do pretty nicely. Oh, the drop is coming in, but it's not going to do anything. It takes out the shield on one guy. Oh, it takes out one zealot. Wow, a whole zealot gets taken out. And for the rest, it does nothing. So more and more troops are going to be uh, uh, summoned here or warped in. And the Hellions now coming up. The Hellions also not going to be very effective against this. I don't know why he went for Hellions. Hellions are not good against Stalkers. Because Stalkers do, uh, do just insane damage and they take less damage. So yeah, there's that. And they're never going to sneak past them. So yeah, I'm not actually sure why he would build that. Uh, of course, the normal units to go for would be tanks. And maybe... Uh, so tanks and maybe the Widow Mines. I'm, I'm not actually sure how Widow Mines do against Stalkers. Of course, it all depends on whether they have um, uh, whether they have detection. If if there is detection, then of course Widow Mines will do nothing against the Stalkers. <sighs> that was that was bad. The Mothership Core actually helped out a little bit, but uh, it was just yeah, just attack. It, it wasn't. It wasn't even a problem. The, the two Hellbats that were there got taken out pretty easily. I don't think they did a whole lot. Well, 14 workers killed. That is actually more than I expected. Well, he's still, I uh, guess, 12 workers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did lose a few. But because normally we see 16 or so. I don't know where he lost the rest. Maybe he just rebuilt a couple. I don't know. We have some bunkers coming up and the bunkers should be able to do pretty nicely against this. There are uh, marauders in here instead of marines. Uh, the marauders are going to do very well against the stalkers. But stalkers also do very well against the marauders. So there's that. But the marauders do 200% uh, damage to, um, to these guys. And these guys are going to do 140% damage or 14 damage. Uh, to the uh, the Marauders. So, yeah, both of them reasonable against each other. And we are going to fall back. Yeah, not a whole lot happening for the moment. And we do find a Reaper here. <laughs> Almost missed it. And then the charge actually makes it work. So, are we going to build anything sneaky yet? Yeah, finally, the Dark Shrine is coming up. So Dark Templar are going to come out. I'm not actually sure if there are any pylons out there. There's a pylon over here. And we'll have to keep an eye on this to see what he actually warps in. Sentries are warped in. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to a DT drop. Or not so much drop, but uh, creation. And... Well, that would be good. So the... Dark Templar are available now, and he is not really doing anything with that. This is the only pylon, it seems, that is actually available. And, well, it is going to get taken out soon, because these Marauders are coming up straight towards that. The Dark Templar is out, though, and does he have detection? That is the question. No, 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 no. He just, uh, he, yeah, he just guessed it would be good to go back. And it would indeed be good. But with all of these orbital commands up, 
He will have a scan available, and since there's only one Dark Templar, right, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, in the meantime, these Hellbats just uh, getting dropped everywhere, just uh, doing their thing. And they do take out quite a few drones, if left to their own, uh, well, business. Obviously, you need to be as aggressive as possible towards these, uh, these drone killers. Hellions, uh, Hellbats, especially Blue Flame Hellions. Yeah, those are actual uh, worker killers and you need to be very aggressive towards them. Because as you can see, the drones take quite a lot of damage from them. Uh, I mean, they all regenerated shields, but yeah, they were about a quarter HP, all of them. Let's see if we got anything out of that. Yeah, 36 workers killed now. So actually really effective with these little drops. These little drops of um, of Hellbats are just, yeah, really cleaning up the worker supply for the blue player. The red player really get an advantage out of that. But the blue player does have a third base up, whereas the Terran player is stuck at two. And two versus three bases, that is of course no good. He is going to focus uh, the units mainly. So that's why the Nexus is not going down. Although it did take quite a bit of damage. By just focusing on the units, he is going to fall back a little bit until this uh, this this attack times out. And then he's going to take out the Nexus, no problem. So with the Nexus down, he can then go for the probes or whatever he wants. He can also just fall back, but normally we don't see that. But once again, we see the GG coming out because he realizes it is over. It is just plain over. So, um, yeah, very nicely played, especially by the Terran player. Really uh, nice game, uh, nice harassment especially. And you can see how much he did there. He uh, took out 38 drone, uh, probes in the end, but just those, those drops with those Hellbats, even though the Hellbats were a terrible choice against the composition here of uh, uh, Stalkers, mainly Stalkers. Uh, the Hellbats are completely terrible against that, but if you drop them in at the right uh, time and right place, then they can do brilliantly. Otherwise, you're just going to lose them. But anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. GG!